Hello, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, uh, this. What can I say? It's... It's much better than I actually anticipated. I would go through card, through card, by, card by card, but... This is my fourth take, and I... If I go card by card, they, don't, they go over ten minutes. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, that would be a video with and of itself, and I don't want that to happen. So, I'll just go over things that might be interesting. The first, first is Closed Forest. This is a very powerful field spell for beast decks, since not only does it boost beasts for 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard, it doesn't specify that it has to be a beast monster. So, any monster in the grave is fair game, that's 100 attack points. But more importantly than that, no field spells can be activated while it's face up on the field, and when it's destroyed, no field spells can, can be activated until the end of the turn. So, Close Forest is basically a big no-no to anything that plays field spells. Zombie World? No. Alistair? No. Shadows? You don't get that magical meltdown. Just no. Goes, rivalry is here because we're playing only beast monsters, so that's self explanatory. King of the Beasts is a very interesting little addition. It's a level 7 2500 beta that can special summon itself from the hand or the graveyard by tributing Moja. Moja can be summoned either with Puppy, with Valerifon, or with Obedient School, so there are ways to get to Moja. So it's very easy to establish a Moja, then go into King of the Beast, giving us a level 7 monster, which is important for one reason alone, and that is the combo of Hoppy Squadron. Since this is a level 7 monster and Hoppy Squadron is a level 2, it can easily give us a Stellar Knife Wolfreed during the opponent's turn, and then we can just recover the King of the Beasts, giving us two monsters for the price of one. Which I am very, very happy about. We're also playing Landois' Luminous Moss, which is another silly tech, if you will. Uh, since Luminous Moss prevents the opponent from activating any monster effects, during the turn it's resolved and it can only be activated if you control a Naturia monster, and we have Naturia Beast, which is easily obtainable by Obedience Schooled. So comboing Obedience Schooled with Landois' Luminous Moss prevents the opponent from using Nibiru, Ash, DD Crow, any other bullshit like that. That's offline for the remainder of the turn. I was thinking about playing uh, another spell, uh, Barkian's Bark, which does the same at Landois' Luminous Moss, but for traps. But I think that Luminous Moss is much more versatile. Has a much... well, not, maybe not versatile. Has a wider range of uses of cards that it can stop. And for the extra deck, um, I decided to use the Unicorns. Thunder Unicorn, Voltic Bicorn, and Lightning Tricorn. Because they're they're quite neat. I really like the design. They're beasts, so that also qualifies. And they and they big. Also, Tricorn can just summon Bicorn or Unicorn back from the grave. Easy. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's all of it. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh's Unpolished Gems. See you next time. Bye-bye.